It's your boys. It's me, Taylor, and I'm here with my my best my best pal, Ben Ten lover, Dorian. Say hi, Dorian. He, hello. Me and Taylor love the same space so much. At some point, it's gonna bite me in the ass, and it will soon. <laughs> so today, um, we're uh, like, Taylor. Yeah. Uh, two A's on in aw man. Oh, 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 forgive me. Gee, oh, I should have, should have figured that. Should have, should have probably figured that one out. Yeah. There. <laughs> no, I was gonna say there's two A's in man. Well, yeah, because it's drawn out. It's supposed to be like all. Oh, oh okay. Man. Usually, if it's like drawn out, I'm used to it like being like three A's or something. Okay, never mind. I'm sorry, Dorian. <laughs> I'm sorry too, Dorian. <laughs> Anyway, today, we're going to be ranking all these fucking Ben 10 aliens, because we love Ben 10, and we wish it wasn't dead. Now, we will admit, maybe some of the aliens are not on this list, but who gives a fuck? We're doing this anyway. We looked for, like, about, like, an hour. We, we looked for a while, and this seems to be the best one that we could find without including shit that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> so... Yeah, we're going to be ranking all the aliens. Uh, we got our tiers here. We got S tier is It's Hero, hero Time! time. Uh, a, we got Finally What I Want! We got B, which is I Can Work With This. And then we got C, I'll Take It. We got, we got D, Oh Man! <laughs> And then we got F. This guy's the worst. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't. We're. Should we go in order of appearance, or should we just grab them? I feel like we should get the elephant out of the way and then try to go in order. The elephant. Yeah, you know the one who has his own tier for himself. <laughs> Just, just get out of the way. Just get out of the way. Sorry, just need to get that out of the way. Because yeah. the Omniverse designers were truly said, let's make the worst thing, and they succeeded. They even named it the worst. The worst. So, it's gotta be there. Alright, now we got that out of the way. Uh, grab Heat Blast. <laughs> heat Blast. Alright, Heat Blast. My okay, guy. Wait, we should probably... Wait. We should probably explain how What we're just doing. happened? No! Are we doing the intro? <laughs> Hold on. Okay, alright, we got it. We got it. Everything's good. Everything's good. Everything's back to normal. We got it. Alright, good. <laughs> so, uh, let's explain how we're going to be, like, ranking our fun little aliens before we just start putting them in slots. <laughs> You're the rank so? man. All right, so we will be judging the aliens based on three factors. One, their design. Like, how iconic are their designs? How well thought out? Um, if you were to slap them on a poster, how well are they going to be recognized? Um, B, their utility in their powers. One, now, this was a little tricky. One to B. B. <laughs> this could be a little tricky because um, Taylor, me and Taylor had a thing about this earlier. Anyway, basically... A lot of the aliens kind of copy each other after a certain point. To the point where it's kind of ridiculous, actually. <laughs> and so, we're going to be taking the aliens' powers and basically saying, depending on how well used their powers or how the combination of their powers makes them unique, we will be putting them in specific slots. We'll be ah, The more unique the combination and power set, and the better they use it, the higher they'll go on the list. And then there's just overall, what are the odds I'm going to actually want this in a fight? <laughs> <laughs> am, am I gonna be? Am I gonna be like, oh man, or am I gonna be like, it's hero time? So yeah, that's how we're. Do that's how the scale is gonna go. <laughs> so we got design uh, and powers, and that's it. 
Zion's powers and you know what I actually want to use this at ever. <laughs> like how like, is it uh, useful? <laughs> yeah, is it useful? Okay. So we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna start with uh, Taylor Heat Blaster. <laughs> Taylor. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, look. All right, so let's talk about Heat Blast because Heat Blast was a uh, argumentative to say the least about this. Because here's the thing. Taylor loves Heat Blast. However, in my personal opinion, there's a there's another alien that has fire abilities that honestly has another power in it that honestly gives him a lot more to work with. Like, Taylor will kill me. Taylor wants to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Heat Blast is my second favorite alien, bro. I know. So I like, have a reason I, to like, and I've but, already defended myself multiple yes, times in that, different it, ways. <laughs> we can put him that in it's hero time. We can put him up there. Like he's genuinely, honestly, in both the, in design, what I want this, and you know, powers. He's pretty much A tier, but it's just he's not going to be at the very tip top of A tier. Oh, wait, no. Actually, you would put him in finally what I want because honestly, hero time is reserved for like special slots. Yes. Her hero time is... I d don't even need to discuss <laughs> that this man exists. But yes. Heat Blast would go in its hero time. So who was after Heat Blast? Pretty sure it was Diamond Head? Diamond Head. I, I, he's in the I, he's I always in the get Diamond... I always think it's like either Diamond Dude or Diamond Head. I guess it's... Uh, Diamond Head. So, uh, let's talk about Diamond Head's powers. Basically, he's a diamond, and he can make diamonds come out of the floor, or shoot them out, or turn his hands into swords. So, with this knowledge, honestly, Diamond Head is actually a pretty good alien. He can create crystal walls for defense, and if that's not good enough, he can literally just tank them in the face and not give a, ha give a shit. <laughs> so, and it's just, honestly, as a defensive alien, he works really well. For what he does, which is why I also kind of want to put him in finally what I want. <laughs> hmm. What about you? I, I think I think that's fair. Um. I think he he'd probably be a little like maybe mid on the on the tier when we get more people in, but yeah, no, he he probably yeah he, he should probably be in there. I mean. When when you think of Ben Ten, he's like immediately. Like one he's of the one of like the top of. five aliens that kind of pop into your head. Yeah. So usually it's like it's like Heat Blast, uh, Diamond Head, Forearms. Forearms. Yeah. So he he's definitely one of them. Speaking of forearms, it looks like we got the gross Macho Man one from Omniverse, but. Well, even though it's omniverse designed, we're technically counting just the alien in general. Yeah. So. so. Hmm. Here's the thing. I love forearms' design. Just a big, bulky, forearmed man. However, the issue with him is that he's got super strength, and that's it. Yes. Despite how much I love his design. And you know, if if it's a straight slugfest, he would be one of the aliens that comes to my head. I don't think I can put him higher than I'll take it, because he's only got one gimmick, and that gimmick can very much be kind of overturned. So you think he deserves to be an I'll take it? Yes, I do think. Like at the very top, at least. But it's like. With only like one power set and a, a power that can be very easily kind of beaten, at, be neutralized, it's just kind of sad. Like I want to put him higher, but I know I can't. What about you? Hmm. I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm struggling here because I acknowledge your point and I feel the same way. <laughs> but I love him, so it's... I'll put him here, but it does hurt. Because <laughs> my my thought is, forearms probably can't beat Diamond Head in a fight. 
fight if they were to fight each other. Because it's pure offense versus defense and offense. And Not only that, you also have to account for Diamond Head to really just kind of control the terrain. So, unfortunately, yes. I don't think he'd be able to do much there. Um, let's do Gray Matter next. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, oh, hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, so Gray Matter. Here's the issue. The super intelligence is amazing. It really is. But at the cost of being so easy to kill. <laughs> Whoa. Thing, it's like... You do use that as one of your main arguments against Gray Matter. But when you look at the show, you know, being that small has its yeah, advantages. He's, hard, he's like, like hard to hit and grab, but still it's like, Grey Matter is pretty useless unless he's like around a bunch of technology, but there's another alien that basically kind of outdoes him in that field. But you also have to take into account he's not a combat specific alien as well. He, he isn't. I'll admit that. He isn't. But it's so just... he he's one of the only ones you can't really hold combat against him on, because he's not really supposed to. Yeah, it's just, I, I want, I don't want to put him low, but for me, it depends on where Grey Matter is in the current moment in time, or in, to me, he gets put. It goes from all man to kind of, I'll take it. I think, I think it should be an I'll take it, because I'll take it is like, well, it's not the best thing that I I could get, but it's like I can work with this because I can work with this. Is like, okay, I see an immediate plan. I'll take it. Is I'll figure it out, <laughs> <laughs> and that's what Ben is good at. So I, I'll put him. I'll put him in. I'll take it. Um. Hmm. Where's Where's Ultimate Cannon? Here's normal cannon bolt. Normal cannon bolt. Cannon bolt! Okay, so... Cannon bolt? Wait, hold on, I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> uh, First sneeze of the video, let's go. So anyway, uh, cannon bolt. Hmm. So, let's look at his power. Cannon bolt's whole thing is that he can roll up into a ball, and he basically just becomes a juggernaut in a sense that he cannot be stopped. Unless you're just that much of a chat. Hey, Bill Gats, how's it going? <laughs> and if I if I can cut in here, um, I believe, despite how um, how good Diamond Head is, I think Cannonbolt's defense is better. His offense might not be as good, but him being able to roll into a ball that's basically impenetrable is really good. It is good. It is a very good ability. Not only that, he can put people inside of him when he's in that ball, so his just defensive abilities for, like, saving people just kind of boost him that far. Yeah, but and, it's also... and he's got Sonic Spin Dash, basically. <laughs> yes, but here's the thing. Cannon Bolt is, is like, trying to play with inverted controls. <laughs> like, you can't always control the ball, and that's kind of becomes the problem. Uh, are you confident enough in where you're aiming, which you can't see, by the way? <laughs> so it's like, honestly, I put him in, I can work with this. But as we put more people in there, he probably end up being, like, lower on the list. Hmm. Uh... Yeah, I guess I guess he could stay there. No, if you have something to say, go ahead and say it. Don't don't let this be a Dorian Dorian is God video. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm thinking about how much it would hurt <laughs> to get hit by something going as fast as Cannonball. To be fair, we also, um, there was that episode where he basically killed a leech god. <laughs> we also need to take into account that Ben does eventually learn how to like figure out where he's going i don't yeah, remember what the exact explanation is for why that was possible 
but he does eventually, you know, basically get full control. And even if he didn't hit his target, Cannonbolt's whole thing is that he's good at rebound too. So yeah, I feel like yeah, I've... a literal death pinball is still pretty decent. Yeah. Um. So in my opinion, uh, with design, use, and ability, I think he would either be in front or behind of. Uh, Diamond Head. Okay, I can see your point. I see your point. And considering oh. these guys' abilities, I'm actually going to move Heat Blast behind Diamond Head. Yeah, because sadly, Heat Blast's whole thing is that he has flight and fire powers, but the issue is he can only fly if he's already set something on set like a rock on fire. Um, so I think I think Cannonbolt deserves to be in finally what I want just above heat blast just because be, because heat blast has basically no defense at all <laughs> I, I feel like anything with defense that's also good at at offense like diamond head and cannonbolt are would be ahead of him for that All right, so let's talk about, okay, you know, hmm. I can see your point. I will settle for, like, putting him in, like, the, for right now, the last and finally what I want. You think Heat Blast is better? No, I, yes, I do think Heat Blast is better. Mostly just due to the fact that I think it's been stated before that while Cannonbolt is still just a cannonball, you can still bake the inside of it. <laughs> If you can get through that exterior. <laughs> so I'd settle for like putting him at the very end of finally what I want. Alright. Alright, um, so let's talk about Ghost Freak. <laughs> let's talk about Ghost Freak. Uh, and by talk about him, I mean... I mean, just put him in finally to, what I want. He's going to the very top of finally what I want. <laughs> because Ghost Freak's abilities are just not fair. Okay. Design, so broken. design, he's the coolest alien I've ever seen. <laughs> Not only that, it's just his power set was so broken, they had to write him out of the Omnitrix. He can suck out your soul, possess you, uh, become intangible, and he was just overall a dick to Ben for, like, an episode or two. <laughs> Not only that, he can he can turn invisible, he can just combo you. Like, he's literally, I think, just beat, like, beat some of the goons just to a pulp once. Grandpa said, isn't Ben acting a little bit more vicious than usual <laughs> while beating up three criminals? <laughs> also, Ghost Freak had a plot, so that's yes. pretty cool. Oh, remember, we can't let her bias on Ghost Freak as a villain. In yes. Game. Trust me, where I put Ghost Freak, it's just, here's the thing, what do you do? <laughs> what do you do? You don't. <laughs> and not only that, he has the ability to straight up just make you so full of fear, you'd rather just run or die. <laughs> <laughs> also... Omniverse design. I hate it. <laughs> well, that was the one that was on the list, so we're moving on. Yes. Um. Upgrade. He's at the very bottom. Upgrade. This is... Looks like ultimate alien upgrade. Um, so. Upgrade's cool. Um, he's a cool alien, but I will say he has one kind of fleeting weakness of... He upgrades whatever technology he basically has taken over, but the issue is, depending on where you are, that can be kind of a myth kind of thing to have. I'd say yeah. if you were if you were maining upgrade, <laughs> you would probably want to bring your own shit with you. Yeah, but here's something else. God forbid he ends up in a desert and has to dodge the whole fight. <laughs> well, I'll also say this. Also, Upgrade has some decent defensive abilities of the ability to just kind of morph and blob his body like Kid Boo. Yes, but zero offense without any electronics. Well, he is decently strong compared to compared to the other aliens. It's not anything that special. <laughs> he he's weaker than everyone we have up here. And I I'd also... say he's maybe like having a little bit more of a punch than Ghost Freak, but not by much. I'd say he he's probably he's definitely not stronger than fucking four arms. Um, oh, hell no. 
so if I were to put him anywhere, I think he's the perfect situation of I can work with this because he's kind of very situational. I can work with this. Um, so he'd have to he'd have to be like oh also design is great love him. Oh Lob- yeah, amazing Lobby design. Board. You kind of already know what he does, but you also don't know what he does at the same time. Only been ten episodes that I cry because I didn't want to see him leave. <laughs> Um. Yeah, I, he 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 could go with. I can work with this. He's he is an alien that is kind of specific, but can also work outside of that if you're smart enough. So I feel like he definitely goes there. Okay, um, let's go grab Rip Jaws. He's at the bottom. <laughs> Rip Jaws, the most oh, useless man. Put him fucking. In, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Rip Jaws okay. does absolutely nothing except swim, and if he's not in the water, he fucking dies. <laughs> so Rip Jaws' his whole thing is that he he succeeds at one thing very decently. Because <laughs> here's the thing: it's like yeah, he's a mer, he's a water monster. If he's out of the water for too long, he will genuinely just die. <laughs> he, I. His design is cool. Everything else is kind of pointless about it. Oh yeah, also we can't take away that he has a very strong bite. He has a strong bite, but against everyone else, he's not going to do Unless, too much. Again, he's very specific. If you need to be fighting an opponent in the water, but the worst part is the opponent's going to have other stuff if they're in the water. They're going to have other stuff. Rip Jones only has the ability to, not, to survive underwater. <laughs> Yeah, there's, so I'm sorry. There's, there's no rip jaw. There's no going down there. There's no discussion about rip jaws. He's just, he sucks. His cousin, however, Artaguana. <laughs> We're not there yet. Put him back. Why? I didn't know we were, what order are we going in that you haven't told I'm me. I'm trying to. Fu- I want to get like the Ben, like the original Ben 10 stuff, then move on to Alien Force. Stink Force, fly. Alien, yeah. Stink fly. We will. I refuse to talk about. How they've massacred my boy. <laughs> okay, so honestly, so let's talk about Stinkfly. So Stinkfly's whole thing is that he can fly, which was the main thing in Ben Ten. And he smells he bad. Could fly. But also, he has stick. He has like very sticky fluid he can fire from his face. He can fire globs or ropes, and it could be very useful. And he also has a very sharp tail that can pierce the top of vans <laughs> so it's like combining that together he's very much a kind of like restraint he, he's try- ben if he uses this alien he's trying to keep you down and he does a decent job as long as he's not fighting too strong of alien that just doesn't give a fuck <laughs> so stink fly i say he i say he's either in i can work with this but pretty low or i'll take it but pretty high I'd say Stinkfly is, he's either above forearms or right between him and Grey Matter, because Grey Matter is practically useless. Um, Unless, again, you're in a very specific kind of situation. Stinkfly is made, kind of, for specific situations. But he very but much just because he can fly alone and has ranged attacks, he's not really a... He can't really fight up close, unfortunately. But with his maneuverability and everything, I feel like he cuts in front of forearms just by a bit because forearms can't fly! <laughs> he can hop really good, which makes certain aliens on this list very pointless. <laughs> <laughs> Crash up. <laughs> no, we'll get there. I, I think he I think he should be at the top of our ticket because even though you know, a lot of the times he did get Sting Fly, he was like, Oh fuck. But he still was able to do stuff with it. But there's also but there's also times where he's like, sweet, finally, Sting Fly. Yeah. Uh Hmm, yeah, okay. yeah, maybe he should be at the the bottom of I can work with this. 
Because, like, here's the thing. How I see it's, like, I'll take it is, like, you're good at one thing, but that one thing can very fastly go wrong. <laughs> for example, which is why Grey Matter is going to be at the bottom for a while. <laughs> like, honestly, I was so considering putting him in all man, but it's, like, you know what? I see what he has done. He's so good. He's that. good at a thing. Rip Joss <laughs> is good. Is decent at a thing. Rip Jaws is like, shit. Ah, oh, can you come fight me in this swimming pool real quick? Okay. He- okay. Let's scroll down. Who's next? Uh, hmm. accelerate. Accelerate is fucking awesome. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. Accelerate is a speedster. Tasking what is. EXE, get out of here. He's a speedster, <clears throat> which immediately puts him very high on this list. Because his design is also very great and distinctive, and he's one of two speedsters in the Ben 10 universe. He's one of the yeah. only designs. They didn't fuck up. <laughs> Like, his design is so iconic that he always looks like that, and it's good. So, honestly, I feel like we could put him in Find Me What I Want and put him right above Ghost Freak. Above Ghost Freak? Because here's the thing. It's like, if you're too fast to where you're on the other side of the battlefield before I can get to you, I feel like you win that fight. (sighs) What I am very much willing to kind of like go back and forth on where to put him. I'm fine as long as he's near Ghost Freak. I feel like if you tried to stab him, though, Ghost Freak would be like, huh, oh, get fucked and just go intangible. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like a stalemate of there's no... It's a, it becomes a matter of, you need to accelerate fast enough to not register to a Ghost Freak. And it's like, I don't know, there's no real way to kind of factor that in. So, you know, so to me, he just goes and finds me what I want, and he's going to be very high up there for a while. I'll put him right... I'll put him... I still think the amount of shit that you literally cannot fight <laughs> against Ghost Freak is a little more OP than just speed. So I'll put him, like... He's about to smooch Ghost Freak with how close he is. But Ghost Freak is just like, well, you tried, but... <laughs> and I'm flattered, but... <laughs> you tried. We could probably be friends, but you can't beat me unless you really try, you know. <laughs> all right, all right. Head down. Who's next? Um. Oh. Are we finally? Next? Oh, we got fucking <laughs> wild vine. <laughs> so me and Taylor are gonna have to talk about this one. <laughs> wild vine sucks. <laughs> wild vine is decent. <laughs> wild vine. Would go just above Gray Matter. <laughs> He's not that bad. Okay, so let me explain. Explain. Um, Wild Vine's entire shtick is that he's a giant plant. He can stretch his limbs. He can stretch his limbs real far, and he's got you know grenades. So, like I now you would, and also we have to very much talk about this and how broken of ability this is. Regeneration. Hmm. But there's other people who can do it, Dory. <laughs> there are other people who can do it. And there's another person who very much beats Wild Vine in kind of everything he does. So, in my opinion, I genuinely think he should be put like near, like near, behind the uh, Stinkfly, and I can work with this. Because he's very much made for like capturing opponents. He's not made for like physical brawl. He's made to restrain the opponent as much as possible. <laughs> But with the grenades, it kind of allows him to be a little bit out of his comfort zone, but not a lot. Mm. And also, this design kicks ass and can't tell me it doesn't. Design is all right. His arms are weird. <laughs> uh, I guess. <laughs> but he's not going above Stink Flat. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think Wild Vine could take on Stink Fly in a fight. <laughs> Just how fast do those limbs grow? I don't know. That's something you'll have to... Experiment with. Uh, don't um, experiment. I don't like that. 
So. <laughs> oh, we we kind of skipped over a fucking wild. Mo- <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was wondering when the original ten were they missing. Wild uh, we're we're missing uh, a bunch. We got Ditto and Upchuck and all of them, but Wild Mutt is like the second alien we see. Okay, so Wild Mutt. Wild Mutt. I, I feel like he's in the middle of all taken right now. Yeah, like, I have no argument with that because all he does is sniff good and he sniff attack. Good, he's near good. And he's very fast and very mobile. He's not a speedster. He's just very fast, like force level fast. He, he, he's just not fantastic. <laughs> he's good. For, again, he's good for tracking, but, and I don't think there's ever an alien who ever t- tops up in tracking ability. But that's such a specific situation where it's like, dog. It's like, I will find who I'm looking for, take them home, or if it leads to a fight, I will wait outside the fight zone to change. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's... He, he's... He's okay, but... He's, and there's also the he's fact not that you great in combat. Up on him. Like, there's also the fact you can't sneak up on him. Like, it's very difficult to sneak up on a wild mutt. You can't sneak up on him, but you can kick his fucking ass. <laughs> the you amount of times can. that I've seen wild mutt get yeeted across the room is what like... makes PETA very <laughs> so yeah that's that's fucking all I can do. anyway <laughs> I'm just looking alright next should be the horror movies um all three of them oddly enough are kind of right next to each other at the top yeah so grab Ben Wolf since he's the first one Ben Wolf is cool, but immediately immediately gets clapped by the several other sound people that will come later. However, he I don't in agility in agility and sonic voice are honestly oddly kind of good together just due to positioning and everything. But once you set up that screen, you're kind of blowing in your cover. <laughs> so honestly, I think he beats four arms and I'll take it. That's what I was gonna say. Cause. He has he has good stuff. He can he can he can attack. He can defend. He has range, which forearms doesn't. He doesn't he doesn't have a specific scenario he has to be in, and he has all his stuff. So, I think Ben Ben Wolf was used a few times to track too. It probably wasn't as good as Wild Mutt, but he he did do some snoofing. He snoofed a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I'd say yeah. I think he's like perfectly fine at the top of all taken right now. Yes, Ben Mummy goes behind. I refuse to put him behind. anything lower than I can work with this. He has a black <laughs> hole in his stomach. <laughs> I know, but I'm sorry. He's got to go behind Wild Vine because Wild Vine kind of has something up. It's like they are very much kind of like neck and neck to me because it's like it comes down to the question of. Which is stronger? No, it he- more healing down to the, good no, or getting sucked into oblivion? <laughs> no, it's for me, it's more of a matter of what do you kind of want in the scenario? Because here's the thing, they both have stretchy, but if we're talking like the mummy has to get close to you. He has to. Because the mummy and Wild Vine kind of move it the same way when it comes to their stretch. So it's like at least Wild Vine has the grenades. He has a way to not have to get close to you. The mummy has to get close to you. Well, he, also, could fire, mummy's... he could fire the ribbons out of his hands. Yeah, but there's also the fact that the ribbons are actually... You can actually untangle him. And that was the... Because you can, it won't kill him. It won't do anything. Except for, like, stun him for a while. And honestly, that is a crippling weakness. Well, because... Then again, it's a crippling weakness, but it's like, are you really ever going to get the chance to abuse it? Probably not. Unless you're accelerate. <laughs> I personally think you're just trying really hard to keep Wild Vine relevant. <laughs> I'm sick. And I think that they are about the same. So do I. I think but I like same. Ben Mummy a lot more than Wild Vine because his design is a lot cooler. They yeah. even didn't screw it up in Omniverse that bad. He looks okay. Yeah. Now we have to go to Frankenstrike, and oh my god, he looks so ugly. Frankenstrike. Frankenstrike is literally just a strong guy. 
with some magnetism. No, he's got other stuff. I just said with magnetism. Oh. He has something else. But there's also other people who have stronger magnetism later. No, he also does have electric abilities, but sadly there's also another strong boy with electric strength. So it's like... He goes above forearms. I don't know. I think he goes a little... I think he goes behind the mind. No wait, no. No, he wait, is no, he's he's definitely no, actually, not. Yeah, I like him in front of forearms. <laughs> I like him in front of forearms when I think about it. Yeah, he he's definitely not. Maybe he goes in, in front tier. of the wolf, but I don't know. I wouldn't say so because sure magnetism is cool, but the other aliens you're fighting probably aren't gonna be robots. So <laughs> I wouldn't expect them to have much metal on them, and if, in, if you're not in a metal environment, then you only have your strength left. But also there's the fact that um, in the horror movie crew, genuinely, Frankenstrike was the second in command to Ghost Freak in that instance, so there must have been something if Ghost Freak, if Ghost Freak does think that. <laughs> uh, I think that was more of a just, we're spooky boys, so I respect him type of thing. <laughs> Not only that, he was kind of the only one who had a brain. Wolf and Mummy were kind of like, and compared in, in intelligence-wise. Yeah. And, and intelligence very rarely kind of factors into these aliens, unless it's specific ones. So, yeah, I think, I, sadly, as much as I would love Frankenstein to be higher, I have to put him there. Um, let's just start going through these. We have a bunch of them at the top here. Spitter. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh man! Like, hold on, listen. It's, okay, yeah. Whenever we put Spitter, but he's better than Upchuck. Rip John. <laughs> oh, very much so. And put Up uh, Chuck uh, is above Spitter. <laughs> um, good old lightning parasite. <laughs> Um, he, he has the ability to go through electric cords and fuck up whatever he's in. That's kind of it. He also has a little bit of electricity, but not much. Still better than Rip Jaws, though. <laughs> Honestly, I think he's better. I think he's better than than Upchuck, because it's like I'm because I'm imagining scenarios, and it's like in my worst case scenario. In my case, mind, he is more applicable than Gray Matter. But he's also not very good still. Yeah, offensively <laughs> is where he's very much not usable. Like, he's just utility. He doesn't have much in, in case of a th offense. He also is completely devalued later because of Jerry Rig, so. And he's also a very specific thing. If there's no electronics, he's completely fucked. So I think he's just below Upchuck just for the fact that. He's also situational. Spitter and Upchuck are the same fucking guy, but... <laughs> Honestly, I could, I could put him behind Grey Matter. Behind Grey Matter? You think he's better than Upchuck, combat-wise? Combat-wise, no. But in sense of just messing up plans, he's he's almost amazing. He's almost, a, almost solely amazing if it wasn't for Jury Ray and Grey Matter. His design is lame. <laughs> um Arctiguana, it's just better rip jaws. Yeah. <laughs> so he goes beyond of that. I feel like we can put him a little higher. I feel like we can put him past spitter. <laughs> Get out of here, spitter. It's these two boys and these two boys. They're all the same two people. <laughs> uh next is Ditto. Ditto. Oh, oh man. He was kinda cool for a little bit. I'm gonna I say he's I'd put better him than right Spitter. Past Rip Jaws. Past, oh, just past Rip Jaws. You know, yeah, because he's the thing. You like, think Spitter's other, better than him? Um, <laughs> depends. How fast does acid go through flesh? Uh, I don't know. And the, and the other question is, how fast can Spitter kind of reload his fist? Because if he can like just spit enough to just make the Ditto's not even a fast, the clone of the Ditto's not even a fast. When I say kind of clone. when I say he's just Upchuck. He literally is just Upchuck. So it's the same exact reload time. It's like... Okay, then there's a, there's a good, like, he, whole second. 
I, I, I feel like Ditto could doggy pile him in that time. <laughs> yeah, but if you're going to doggy pile, he still has a mouth he can just open, and covering it's not going to do anything. You can still just spit, and that's just someone's hand gone. Not if they hold his mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very selected scenario. And honestly, I still think he should be behind Spitter, just due to the fact that at least Spitter has acid spit. Okay. Ditto is just a gang. Hear me out. It. Hear me out. Spitter never hits his target. And kidding? Ditto can overwhelm you by sheer number. Alright. Turn past Spitter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Spitter. You're kind of cute, but... I'm sorry, what? <laughs> He's kind of cute, and uh, you know how ugly things are kind of cute sometimes. Hey, Taylor, remember Digimon? Yeah, but that's not that's not ugly. That's fucking horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> um, eye guy, he can hear you through his eyeball. He can hear you, and he can fire lasers. He goes past. I think he. I think he's past forearm. I think he's actually. I think he's above Frankenstrick. Aw, oh, don't say that. Don't say that about my boy. <laughs> Why? Is it because you think you agree with me? <laughs> it's not that I think I agree with you. The ability to just not get snuck up on is very great, and the lasers are also pretty great, but honestly, Eye Guy's design creeps me the fuck out. <laughs> I don't like his design either, but in battle scenario... <laughs> He would be more effective than Frankenstrike. He can hear your movement. Do you think that's from, like, in between the two? Like, oh, like, wait, like, actually. Yes, he'll be below Frankenstrike. Frankenstrike can make really high-pitched noises. Oh, yeah. That was one of his things. He had, like, the thunderclap or whatever. And that we've already seen I guy get completely fucked by sound. <laughs> yeah. So Yeah, I, I guy would just get ruined there. <laughs> next is way next is way big. Way big. Well, should we should probably do Spider Monkey before Way Big. No, no, because uh, like I said, I wanted to do like the ones from the Ben from like Ben Ten and Way Big I think was like the last one. He's in the very top. Yeah, I know where he is. I'm just looking to make sure there's no other Gen 1 aliens in here that I missed. Nope. Way big. He looks cool, and he can get big, and he baseball through Mr. Alien into the void. So let's talk about Way Big. Way Big is just a suit of giant. That's all it is. But, the, but honestly... That is very useful, as much as I would love to meme on it. Because <laughs> here's the thing, it's like, in that situation, you kind of have nothing you can do in that scenario. Because nothing that the aliens really have can really bother him. <laughs> and while, yes, he's very easily dodgeable, considering he's slow as thin, but it's like, it kind of goes into a stalemate of, someone's going to run out of juice first, and it's not going to be him. <laughs> Way big. So I think he goes past diamond head i'd say that too because he's too slow to get accelerate and ghost freak can just get in his balls (laughs) (laughs) just like blocking his testicles (laughs) you think oh you think ghost freak could phase into somebody and then become tangible and fucking explode them (laughs) oh god yeah i fully believe that's something ghost freak can do is, is Goop from Ultimate? He's from Alien Force and Ultimate, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, right. that, it looks so. like that round... It took, it took us an hour <laughs> almost oh to get the original Ben uh, fucking lineup. Now we All have right. our Ultimates and Alien Forces. All right, let's get Swamp. Okay, I think Swampfire was the first one in Ultimate, or was it Humongousaur? I don't remember. <laughs> well, I already know where Swampfire goes. Put him right past. We have to put him past Heat Blast, man. You gotta. 
So to tell you what Swamp Fire I'm going to say he, he should probably go above Diamond Head, but not not above Way Big. I feel like Way Big is just like the vibe check. Way Big is his Alien X 2.0. <laughs> because it's very hard to make any anything against him. So why is Heat Black, uh, why is Swamp Fire up there? Because Swamp Fire has a moveset that honestly is kind of not fair. He has regeneration, he has fire, and he has vines. Flight manipulation, it's just... And also grenades, don't forget the seed grenades. The he's, grenades that he never uses. <laughs> it's just, Swamp Fire has a lot that kind of works together pretty well. So uh, it's just, with that combination, it's just, I think it'd be a very good thing. Now, his design, on the other hand, has been hit or miss, but... <laughs> Honestly, I think he's sir. Honestly, I think he's pretty good where he is. Yeah, I. I already didn't really like, old uh, Alien Forces design for it for Heat Blast because I don't really care about Heat Blast, not Heat Blast, fucking Swamp Fire that much. But Omniverse's version is even worse. <laughs> um, they try to fix the. The problem I had with his face being a black void, but it ended up just looking like fucking a really shitty version of um, IDW Hot Rod. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, no. Um, okay, Echo, so Echo, I think Echo, Echo deserves to be above Ben Wolf because he's Ben Wolf but better. <laughs> Yeah, I think you can honestly put him in I can work with this just because of his ability to copy himself. I think he goes above Momo Boy. He may... Maybe... Hmm. He goes above I think, Wild Vine. Okay. I think he goes above Wild Vine. Definitely. Yeah, he goes above Wild Vine. <sighs> maybe, I'm yeah, starting to think we have Stinkfly, Stinkfly a little too high. Because... Honestly, like I said, his a main thing is just the ability to just kind of restrain the opponent. But I think because we have Wild Vine and Mummy yeah. here, that ability is slowly becoming less and less. Who good. is? I feel like, God. Okay, I already like Echo Echo a lot, but I, <laughs> I think he's more applicable than Upgrade too, just because you can use him in any scenario. And not have to worry about what's around you. Not only that, just his pure jumping ability and just stop that. Yeah, he goes above upgrade, I think. Yeah. Do we want to put them in front of me what I want? Do we want to put them <laughs> I'm, I'm considering it. Because I'm just, I'm <laughs> kind of, I'm, I'm just reflecting. Him. I'm like, God, Echo Echo was kind of bullshit, man. Like, you could definitely fuck up fuck up a decent cast I think of finally what I want. Um like honestly, I think he would go uh, right below uh, Diamond Head. Hmm. Maybe above. Maybe I think I above think. because while I made the argument that Ditto could pile onto people, we've seen Echo Echo do it. And Echo and Echo has more people. <laughs> I mean, Echo Echo would fucking destroy I guy, that's for sure. I guy's yeah, dead. I, I think so. Yeah, I think put him above Diamond Head. Yeah. 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 Is, which, Justice for Echo Echo. <laughs> maybe we put him over Swamp Fire. <laughs> the more I think, oh my god. Yonk. <laughs> so oh big. shit, way big. Nah, that's the only one nah, you can't nah, really nah, get nah. over. <laughs> Unless he's climbing the body and screaming right in his ear, that ain't happening. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, Jesus Christ. Fucking Echo oh, Echo. That was is... the first one where it's just like, wait a minute. He's wait, wait, a wait a fucking a wait second. Alright. We spent, like, 20 minutes on Echo Echo. Humongosaur. He goes he's a right big guy. Forearms. He's a big boy. He goes right above forearms. <laughs> Cause that's the thing. His whole thing is like, I'm big and strong, and that's it. But he's also got hard hide, so I feel like Eye Guy's lasers wouldn't do anything to him. 
Yeah, I feel like, I feel like it would take a little bit to get through. Okay, I'm kind of. But he's also a really big target. He's another problem because he can grow. <laughs> and he can get slightly spikier. I think right before Franken strikes a good place to put him, actually. Could Blitz No, I think Frank I think he I think he should be behind Franken Strike. I think that's a good place. Because I'm thinking about it, it's like he's strong and he's durable, but if you can keep a decent distance, I think you're good. Because <laughs> he's definitely not getting past Ben. I think, no way in hell. I think any, anyone with range would surpass him. I don't think anyone with range. There's also the fact that, you know, he's a giant dinosaur man. He could, if you're just, like, throwing stuff at him, he can't just say, I don't care. <laughs> Which yeah. is why I think maybe he goes above Frankenstrike. That's why but I'm n- saying, like, he's also kind of bullshit, because... <sighs> he's impervious to almost everything in the show already, but... Unless you have something specifically that doesn't have to deal with that hide or just goes right through it. Which is why I think Ben Wolf is a, is a good counter, because he, the sound isn't attacking your body. It's going through the ears. Yeah. So I think he's right there. I think he's right there. Wait. I'm starting to reconsider because Wildvine and Ben Mummy aren't are doing, doing shit to him. Yeah, Upgrade's not definitely shit. not doing anything to him either. But remember, we're also counting the fact that, you know, utility of, like, how often am I going to actually want to use just brute blunt force? And it's not going to be that often. <laughs> Especially when so you have like, these motherfuckers. Yeah, so I feel like Humongosaur is fine where he is. I think... Like, I'm more likely to use restraining characters rather than just brute so, force. I'm going to say Humongosaur is at the top of I'll Take It, and Bin Mummy and Blitzwolf should switch. I kind of feel like we should also... I also feel like that we should kind of switch Frankenstrike and... and Wildvine? As much as I love them... Uh, I don't think Frankenstrike isn't that good though. Because I because Wild Vine will tie him up. Yeah, but also remember Frankenstrike does have some enhanced strength. So I mean, remember Wild Vine is still kind of a it's like he's a durable plant, but he's still a plant. You can be strong enough to just not care. And also keep in mind, worst case scenario, he shocks them. Stink fly is probably worse than Blitz Wolf. Um, I'd say so. Because wait, hmm. Maybe not, because I'm imagining a stink fly shot covering his mouth and then Ben Wolf doesn't really have anything. He's got claws. Yeah, but Stink Fly has the air. And unless Ben Wolf's in a very kind of specific kind of scenario where he can jump that eye, he's not gonna get there. I'm hitting a roadblock because I'm starting to question a lot of our decisions now that we have all these other guys in here. Cause yeah, that's the thing. Alien Force was the whole alien ability vibe check. I think... Hmm. I think Humongosaur should be at the end of I Can Work With This. Because I'll take it I feel like I'll take it as like, I don't want to use Humongosaur. I feel like I could work as this. I could work with this as like, I didn't really want him, but he's not the worst either. He, he's not the worst. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think, yeah, I think putting him in the back of I'll take it works. You mean I can work with this? I can work with it, my bad. Yeah. Stinkfly would probably spit in his eyeballs or something. <laughs> yeah. Now that that debacle is over with... Time to make stink, you know, Stinkfly even more irrelevant. Hmm. 
Next up is uh, I forgot his name. I'm looking at these guys. The more, the more I look at the people we haven't put on the list yet, the more, more I think. Do some remodeling. The more I think Ghost Freak is probably gonna be in its hero time. Oh wait, let's put who's definitely in its hero time up there. And I wait, grab Alien X and put him right. Yeah, right in front of Ghost Freak. <laughs> The comments, the thing, but he's I the strongest like, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suck my dick. <laughs> Here's the thing about Alien X. I love Alien X for purely his concept. Because it's like once you use Alien X, you're stuck in a plane of basically existing and not existing. And there will be two other consciousness in there to where you have to make them agree to do something in order for Alien X to do jack shit. And it's an amazing ability and an amazing counter to said ability. <laughs> but those consciousnesses could argue for centuries. <laughs> so it's like you have to be so careful about what you use them for. Otherwise, the thing you need the, needed them to do immediately just is irrelevant at that point. Well, now I don't want to work with you. <laughs> God! <laughs> so it's like I want to put him in a tier of time, but that drawback is really holding him back. And if I remember correctly, maybe in the show eventually that drawback is like removed in like Omniverse, but Omniverse sucks. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Jet yeah, honestly, Jet Ray. Uh, he's Jet Ray. he stink fly, but has lasers and doesn't have goop. I feel I like he'd be. Think, I think he goes above Cannonball. Above Cannonball? Yes, I do believe he goes above Cannonball. Now, do you need me to state my case in that? <laughs> not really. I mean, Cannonball's not going to be getting up there. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to move Cannonball down a decent chunk later. <sighs> okay, Cannonball's going to. <laughs> Cannibal's gonna go, I can work with this. Because <laughs> Jet Ray's ability to not only fly but cause a decent amount of damage is very good. Because unless you're another thing that can fly, congratulations, you got nothing. <laughs> but listen, Dorian. Jet Ray and Heat Blast are trumped by Big Chill. <laughs> I th Big All Chill right. would actually trump Heat Blast, too. Yeah, because because plants, actually, plants just immediately actually, die. Big Chill, I think, would go above rather Echo Echo. before or at would probably go before or after. No, he would go before or after Accelerate. Oh, wow. Because here's the thing. He's also an intangible, but his intangibility has an effect. Of if you go through, I completely you, forgot or you go he through, has that. <laughs> yeah, if you go through him or he goes through you, whatever he just went through is now frozen solid. He can fly, so not he's, that he's, too. He's so above like, accelerate, because <laughs> while accelerate like, can get high, if he runs off of something, like he could run off, he could run up way big, but he can't just the get up there. So yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. Big, Big Chill doesn't is my my Honestly, I'm my debating if he right kind of beats Ghost Freak. I don't think so because Ghost Freak could Ghost Freak could steal his soul. <laughs> that is a very move. <laughs> it's just but could he beat Goku though? <laughs> <laughs> and then there's Alien X over there. Yeah, I think I think this is fine. Um, Chroma Stone. He's a better Diamond Head. That's enough said. I don't think he's a better Diamond Head. I think he's a worse Diamond Head. What? But he can. He does the same things and can reflect blasts. Yeah, but that's the thing, though. It's like for me, Diamond Head's ability to control the terrain is honestly a lot more valuable than the ability to deflect specific kind of attacks. 
below as long as you just deflect cannon them, bolt. you just put a giant crystal wall before you in that. Below cannon bolt. <laughs> This dumbass face. <laughs> <laughs> Next is Brainstorm. Brainstorm! He's way better gray matter. He's better gray matter. And Honestly, he can attack. I think... I think he's literally... I think he's... Shit. Uh, <laughs> I think he's, he's better than... I think he I think he's cannonball. I think he does... Oh he beat, no, listen, listen. Because I'm looking at it. It's super intelligence. Which does a lot, especially if it's not going to get me killed. Because you have to understand, with super intelligence, your creativity yeah. goes sky high. So it's like, honestly, I think he goes above... I think he goes above... I think he goes above... Uh, I think he goes above... Jet Ray, my maybe <laughs> because I think he go honestly no, I think he goes like right behind Swamp Fire. <laughs> Just he's he's too smart. He's got a big brain. He's he's too smart and he's got lightning brain. Lightning brain. That, that does a lot. <laughs> but Chromastone could play. <laughs> honestly, if you honestly, maybe he even goes, maybe he even beats out Swamp Fire. Oh. Uh... Maybe. I think he beats thing, out Swamp Fire. The only thing that really works against him is that he's very, he's not fast. He's very slow. Yeah. So I th I think he'd probably get trumped by Echo Echo still. Very much so. No so one's getting past let's, that Echo Echo wall, man. Let, let's just put him slightly above Swamp Fire for now. Swamp Fire... <laughs> His expression looks more and more disgusted with how far we move him down. I think we've okay, gotten next... past the swamp fire can do no wrong. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next is Spider Monkey. Spider Yay. Monkey. <sighs> Unfortunately, Spider Monkey he, like... I think he's just above Cannonball. Uh, no, I'm putting him like right in front of maybe Wild Mutt. What? Because here's the thing. All Spider Monkey does is agility and webs. That's kind of all he does. <laughs> but they're super strong webs. They are super strong. Which is why he goes in front of Wild Mutt. <laughs> Honestly, would he get past forearms? Maybe, but it's kind of a situational thing. Okay. <laughs> what do you... Okay, no, don't... What do you think he should go? What do you think, Dan? I don't know. He's not very good at fighting. Nope, not at all. But he is a restrictive character, and we have restrictive characters higher up, which is what I was, I'm like looking at it, and I'm like, do you really think Ben Mummy is strong is stronger than Spider Monkey with his restrictive powers when it comes to restricting these guys? Yeah, but it's also the fact that the Mummy has more stuff he can do. Spider Monkey's um, got agility, which is pretty eh, and webs. Keep in mind. Okay, so hold on. Um, I'm I looking through the list. I'm trying to see. There's no ultimates anywhere. All right, let's look at the ultimates. Um. At the bottom. I know so, they're right here. Let's talk about ultimate humongous R. I feel like he's like the one we kind of gotta get out of. We didn't finish the normal guys yet. Oh no, because for me it's like I wanted to get kind of the ultimates out of the way. I mean, I wanted to get like the base ultimates out of the way so we could talk about the ultimates. Because ultimate. they are going to be the defensive wall that we have to talk about. Ultimate Humongosaur. Slightly better than Humongosaur, but not by no, much. No, here's the thing. He fixes Humongosaur's problem of like having no range of literally by having a minigun for a hand. <laughs> So it's like that pushes him forward a lot. Because it also, it's just the defensive shell also is a lot better. He's bigger. He's stronger. Honestly, I think... He's, I think he's closer he's, to Cannonball. I think he maybe beats out Swamp Fire. <laughs> no. 
Because while Swamp Fire's regeneration is great, if I shoot you enough with explosive <laughs> rounds, you won't have anything to regenerate from. <sighs> Fuck you. <laughs> you hate that I you hate that I actually put a lot of thought into that. <laughs> I'm trying to put thought into it, but I feel like I just sound dumb. No, you can put thought into it, dude. Yep, you everyone has opinion. Have your opinion, bro. Uh Ultimate Swamp Fire. He just wow, goes slightly fire. above Slifa. Swamp Fire. <laughs> On, honestly, if I'm looking at it, I think he goes above. Does he? Does he go above? Like fucking uh, humongous door. I mean, like way big uh, ultimate humongous door. There we go. Because it's like the re his regeneration is now way better. His grenades are way better. His fire is way better. It's just an, a super upgrade overall. But I don't think he like, keeps his plant control. Does he not? I don't think he has plant control once he upgrades. Uh, you might, mm. might want to fact check that though. <laughs> uh, I'm on it. Give me a second. Um, <laughs> fucking stupid fucking ultimate candy bar. God. <laughs> Because obviously an ultimate form is mostly going to be better than the original, but if he loses his binding stuff, that might be a problem. Well, okay, yes, from the looks of it, he doesn't have his regeneration anymore, but he gets a lot in his, in trade. Like, he's got sleeping spores. He's got sticky mud. <laughs> I'm not joking. It's, this sounds like a bit, bro, he's got sticky mud. <laughs> he can survive underwater, and he can fly. He can fly? Yep. Alright, well, sorry, Ultimate Humongosaur. The fact that he can fly already put him <laughs> above you. I think th that kind of puts him above Brainstorm, doesn't it? Well, does it put him above Brainstorm? I don't know. What's Brainstorm's range? Because <laughs> I know he can fire those, like, the, those, uh, sound waves out of his brain hole but I don't know how far hmm. those go yeah but it's like oh hmm. maybe huh but if that's the case it also would be bullshit because what if that <laughs> if he could fly then Echo Echo's not going to be able to do much to him either. But you also have to consider Echo Echo, sound, well, it does have a range. So does, obviously, a lot of, like, fire-based abilities that Ultimate Swamp Fire has. Because think about it. Like, I can, like, I, fire only goes so far. And let's say I try using the bombs. If the bombs hit the sound waves, they're going to dent me. So it's like, it's kind of a, it's kind of a standoff situation at that point. Accelerate. He's not getting past accelerate, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Super speed is so busted of an ability. It's not fair. But man could float over it. Oh, yeah, and you can't super speed in midair. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That's what I'm like. I'm like, dude, anyone who can fly is kind of... Is kind of really good as long as they have... <laughs> both flight and offensive options. <laughs> Fuck. I, I think... Hold I, on. I think... I don't think he's better than way big. I don't think he's... I think... I think put him next to Echo Echo. Like, put him next to him. Because, honestly, I think that's kind of, like, his perfect match. <laughs> All right, now <laughs> I think we should talk about uh, Ultimate Echo Echo. <laughs> Ultimate Echo Echo loses, He's Echo Echo, but better, loses, but he also loses his, his cloning. cloning, which is kind of a big detriment. I feel like he goes in. The, I think he. I honestly, think he goes above Brainstorm, but behind. I think he goes. 
I think he beats out Ultimate Swampfire. I think he does. I think he does. <laughs> Maybe if you can like... get his discs around him before he can fly away. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. And if not, he can still just, like, throw those discs, like, real far. Because he can still control them once they're, like, at, even out of his range. Mm. And it's like, they can just... They can just track him to the ends of the earth. <laughs> oh, to God. the ends of the earth! Shocker! And then it's a matter of, if they surround him enough, it's like, there's only so much he can do. Ultimate. Because he can't run. <gasps> he officially cannot run anymore. Ultimate Cannonball? <laughs> Should I at least look up what's the point of Ultimate Cannonball? You can, but I'm pretty sure... There literally is, like, nothing. That's why he's the most useless out of all of them. Him and Ultimate Wild Mutt are, like, the shittiest Ultimates. <laughs> they don't improve oh that much, oh man. Oh, God. Yeah, no, there isn't much that changes. His defense gets a little better. Um, his his maneuverability gets a little better, and his durability speed. Like he gets the basic enhancements. What it honestly? Does, yeah, it's does, for being honest, it's just an overall <laughs> upgrade. Do, does Wild Mutt have anything special? Uh, let me check. But you, wherever we put Ultimate Cannonbolt, we have to put Ultimate Cannonbolt just right above him. <laughs> yeah, he's already up there. Because right now, with those two, it just seems like their ultimate would only be above the normal one and no further. Alright, Wild Mutt, did you get anything? No. <laughs> He's just trash. better. Trash. He has a sharp tail now. Alright, well that's two ultimates out of the way. Lit. <laughs> um... I feel like I should get him out of the way because I know you hate him. I know Come I'm on, gonna yeah. start ranting about him. <laughs> if you want, we can put him below just big chill because that design the design does does genuinely irritate the both of us. It's I tried to defend him, pointless. but it's still just Why does he get fire when his whole thing is ice? It just it doesn't I think make sense. We should put him I think we should put him, like, right behind Ultimate Humongousaur. Because, like I said, the design is so bad. But he can fly. Because <laughs> it's like, the there's almost no change. I... Mm, Besides color scheme. I, I'd argue that he's better than Brainstorm. Let's be he's basically just ultimate swamp fire. Yeah. Alright, uh, who's next? Um Ultimate Way Big and Ultimate Spider Monkey. Let's do Spider Monkey first. So Ultimate Spider Monkey, honestly, I think goes, goes above forearms. He definitely goes above forearms, I'm thinking. Is he he definitely, I think, beats out Cannonball. Ultimate can the Cannonbolts. <laughs> Honestly, he goes right under uh, Jet Ray. Jet Ray. Because the strength boost is really good. That's kind of all he gets from this. That's... It seems like... It seems... Okay. The original Alien Ultimates feel like a complete afterthought. All the yeah. other ultimates that are ultimates of aliens that appear in Ultimate get something. The original Ben 10 aliens that get ultimates are like, yeah, it's them, but slightly better. It's like they didn't know how to improve perfection. <laughs> like, <laughs> if that's really what it is, we have Accelerate and Ghost Freak above two other <laughs> shows. And they're from the first run. That's how fucking OP they are. Ultimate way big. I feel it's like you can put ultimate better. way big in its hero time. 
I feel like he's the one. Because here's the thing. It's just way big, but way better. Like, he doesn't... I don't think he... Hold on. Let me double check make sure he doesn't get anything new. He gets bigger fin. <laughs> he gets two extra fins. That's his power. <laughs> Oh, he does get a decent amount of stuff. What does he get, Papa? Um, well, <laughs> he's faster now. He's he's faster now. Um, he has cosmic rays. Oh. Cosmic discs. Uh, he can fly. He can survive in space, and he doesn't give a fuck about temperatures. So he gets range, and he's faster. He goes in its hero time. Yeah. Now, granted, when would you use this? Almost never. But when you do, it's hero time. Yeah. Because the... Okay, being honest, the only thing that was really holding the original way big back was his slow ass. <laughs> but once that is no longer a factor, may God help you. <laughs> may God help you. I don't know. Could Ghost Freak get inside of him? <laughs> probably. <laughs> probably. Probably. Okay, I'm probably just pick a knife to his heart. <sighs> Ghost Freak no, is okay, better I'm because he doesn't thing. have to argue. <laughs> yeah, it's like looking at Alien X. I wanna. I kind of thinking the the fact you have to argue with yourself is a real crippling factor. But I kind of love that, which is why I want him up here. Yeah. Because he's an alien with a we with a very decently planned weakness. It's a good weakness, but at the end of the day, it's still a debuff. Yeah, I know Ghost Freak can't get into whatever the fuck. Ghost uh, Freak doesn't have any debuffs. <laughs> except the sun. That's yes. That's the only weakness he has, but if we're, he's in the Omnitrix, no he doesn't. Um, God, he's, he's so strong. Yeah. He's so strong. <laughs> All right, I'm so yeah. proud oh, of oh, him. Do You've done a good job. We did not do goop. Goop. I don't know why he looks like an eagle in this picture. I think it's because of, like he's just regenerating. Anyway, uh, he's basically the human form of acid. Honestly, um, worse than upgrade. <laughs> I think he's get. I think you should put him right behind Heat Blast. Mm. Now hear me out. I don't know. He can't. I don't. F can the spaceship move his goop around so yes, he can fly? Yes, very much can. It's what's actually making the goop move. Okay. Because I didn't know if he could lift up the goop off the ground and just like bring it somewhere. I think there's a limit, but I'm also thinking. It's like, if he was up against, like, Jetfire, he's not gonna do anything. Like, they're at a stalemate situation again, because yeah, Jetfire can fire as many rays at him as he wants. This can get, he figures out... Goop could get very violent very fast, because he could fly up in the sky and just drop himself on Jet Ray and fucking kill him. <laughs> it's rather... I don't think... A, I'm not sure how high the Goop can go, but I do know it's like, unless you figure out that it's the weird pod thing over its head that you have to shoot, Goop is, I mean, uh, Goop is actually pretty much a very big problem. But it's not a major I, thing. I, like, it's and a he floating can't, thing over his head. He can't beat Heat Blast because he just evaporate. I think, no, I think put him behind Jet Ray. Because it's like, I feel like he, I feel like you can figure out what the weakness is, and then he becomes very easy to deal with. Okay. Nano boy, he's the first one oh, to enter the worst after the worst. <laughs> really? I was gonna put him in aw man because he has one good situation, one good situation, and that's it. That's the same reason why Rip Jaws is where he is right now. The worst is literally you're good at nothing. You you and your existence is a mystery to me. <laughs> um. I think, it, I think his name was like Load Star or something. I think he. Yeah, I, I think the only thing he does is gravity. Yeah, he's a magnet boy. Um, and sadly, that, that means would makes him better than Frankenstrike. 
No, it doesn't. Mm. What do you Frankenstein mean? Frankenstein's behind. <laughs> Here's the thing. Frankenstein strength's got other stuff. That guy just has magnetism. Raph, he's strong. He's above. Oh God, he, he's Wait, above. Is that Raph? Yeah, oh he's God. wearing a mask. He's above. Uh, he's above forearms, but not by much. Yeah. Water. I I debatably maybe put him behind him. Uh, I'll put him behind him just because iconicity. Water man, he shoots fucking water. That immediately puts him above Arctiguana. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> that's it. Yeah, no, that's all he kind of does. Actually, I don't think he can freeze his own stuff. Nope. So, it's uh, just Octa high power Arctiguana moment. looks Arctiguana. like you win. <laughs> I mean, if he can freeze stuff, maybe we should put Arctiguana a little higher. He could probably freeze Upchuck slime. I can see him, like, he... Oh, looking at it. He goes, like, behind wildlife. Yeah, he... Smart guys always freeze stuff. <laughs> Like, again, the smart guys are very specific situations. <laughs> but what if he chose to freeze Wild Mutt? Wild Mutt smelled the ice <laughs> and saw it coming. Nathan's our jellyfish boy. Um, he sucks. Honestly, if I correct, doesn't he have the ability to go through walls? What was his, what's and that thing's name again? I don't remember. <laughs> fuck, um, man, I can't look up his name and figure out what the fuck the issue is. Just look uh, up jellyfish, alien. <laughs> Does it, I feel like he has another ability than just electricity and, and like, hovering. He's got another thing, I think. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, he can go intangible. And he's got a shield. He's got a shield? Yep, and he also can survive underwater. Better than... Probably better than most of the people, and I'll take it then. Yeah, uh, hmm. I'd say... Huh, he's actually pretty decent. I think he beats... He... No, he definitely gets past Cannonbolt, the Cannonbolt, too. Oh, fuck, this thing actually is pretty high. <laughs> I think he should uh, be behind Goop. I can see that. Because let's be honest, strong Spider Monkey isn't that great. Yeah, especially if I can turn intangible and you can't punch me anyway. Yeah. Hope. It's like Ghost Freak and B Big Chill combined. <laughs> I don't think you can electrocute them when they go through, but it's like, he's like a, the electricity adds a thing, but it doesn't add a much. Like, it can stun if they don't give a fuck, but compared to Big Chill's freeze, to where it's like, it's more likely to keep them in place rather than for them to not give a fuck. But he does freeze stuff. Yeah, uh, no, mm, yeah, Big Chill does freeze stuff, but let's- I'm let's, talking about maybe... this boy. No, he chucks. Okay, so he doesn't freeze anything. Nope, he shocks. Okay. I was going to say, if he did, he'd be above heat blast. Yeah. He looks like a freaking water boy. Um, Armad <laughs> Armadrillo. He's, he's... <sighs> he's like worse than Wrath, I think. <laughs> no, because he can cause earthquakes, so that means he'd be better than forearms. Is there any... He's got a decent. De he's got decent defense. His offense is like, eh, but yeah, I think. Nah, he'd get past I guy. Yeah, I think I think that's a good place to put him. Um. <laughs> Terrorist bin. He can fly. That's and make, basically and make it. Tornadoes. He can unravel the mummy. Let's fucking go. <laughs> he does one thing, but he does it pretty decently. He does it pretty good. And Cinnabur. Burr, burr, burr. What does he do again? 
<laughs> uh, MRG um, basically has two forms. In the armor and out of it. But what do they do, though? Uh, wait, why did it go to video? Hold on. I'm in her gene. My name is a comedic play on the word energy. He's got a decent amount of stuff. I honestly, yeah, he's got a lot of shit. <laughs> Depending on if he's in the armor or not. And the armor is just a limiter. So honestly, I'd say put him the hot go up on the list. Well, can you tell me what he don diddly does? We don't have an hour. Another hour, I mean. Just tell me his strongest shit, then. I kind of uh, need to know before I make a blind suggestion. Lava eruptions, intense heat, uh, immunity to the hot heat and cold. Immune to lead radiation. Uh, he's also immune to possession. Well, there he goes. He's immune to possession. Also, it outside of the armor, he's got shape shifting, flight, um, in, in, intangibility, um, energy absorption, energy consumption, size changing, um, can breathe underwater and doesn't give a fuck about poisonous gases. Well, I don't want to put him above Ghost Freak, though. <laughs> yeah, I feel like where he is is right. I think that's fair. Well, I don't know. Ghost... Hmm. Does he... Yeah, I don't think... He, he nullifies does. one of Ghost Freak's things. Now, here's the thing. He also beats out his intangibility, because if two things are intangible, then I'm sorry, but we're just throwing hands at that point. Still gonna steal your soul. Yeah, that's kind of awesome. <laughs> I love how that's just like, he also steals soul. His, his fucking soul stealing. Like, I let that alone. <laughs> it's just like, could he be ultimate wave just because he could do that? Probably. <sighs> Is he really better than Accelerate, though? No. <laughs> the design is what's crippling his knees. If you put him anywhere, just put him behind Accelerate so we acknowledge that he just sucks. Do we have speed stats on them? Because that'll determine whether or not he's faster than most of these other people. Yeah. I, f I feel like none of these people are particularly fast. But... He doesn't seem strong. I mean, compared to let's compare it to like accelerates like Shanks hands. Oh. It's like would you rather get punched or shanked? Yeah, I guess we'll just put him after accelerate, even though I fucking hate him and don't want to put him that high on the list. <laughs> There's chameleon. Chameleon, he he shapes. Let me make sure let me make sure I know what he does. He he shape shifts. And he's depressed. <laughs> oh, yeah! Ben, ben became depressed every time he used the form because of that depression. <laughs> um, he's got camouflage. He's got a retractable tail stinger. Um, he can climb walls. Not better than flying. <laughs> and that's it. He's mostly a stealth alien. Okay, that puts him kind of really low. <laughs> um, I think that he's just above gray matter then, because he, if he doesn't fight at all. Like, if he's just a, keep in mind, this is, I think, like, the first, like, purely stealth alien. So, for that, he gets pretty high on just the originality scale. Yeah. Not only that, in doing his one thing, he's pretty good. Because it's like, 
he's not going to be able to fight fucking anybody. No. But he won't have to if none of them can fucking see him. So honestly, I think he gets pretty high on just his usability. I think he like goes in front of Cannonball. But then you gotta consider, what if I can't see him still? Like, who would be able to see him other than, like, Ghost Freak and Alien X? Heat Wave would be able to see him, because I think Heat Wave just sees you, like, heat signatures. Uh, Wild Mutt would be able to see him. Wrath would be able to smell him. So then he'd be below them. Because all he has is stealth, really. Yeah. Honestly, hold on. I'd put him, like, above Grey Matter. That's where I was gonna put him. It's like, you have one thing, but you do it real well. You do it... <laughs> That's what we thought. <laughs> and then, then we realized half these guys can sense him anyway. Edel. He fucking eats shit. He goes below spinner. <laughs> he just sucks. He can stop that's time. Much, that obligates much. him to be way higher on the list. I think that honestly puts him in a tier of time. <laughs> like, <laughs> I hate time manipulators because of this, but I gotta put him up there. It makes you wonder why he's never used. Because he's a because he makes a plot bullshit. I mean, in story. <laughs> yeah, there's Shock Squatch. Um, he goes de he goes behind Frankenstrike. Behind Frankenstrike? You sure? Behind Frankenstrike. Because he, he's strength and electrocution. So, wouldn't he be, yeah, and so wouldn't he be near... However, Frankenstrike also has magnetism on his side, too. See, this is the problem. We don't have actual scaling <laughs> for how strong the electricity is. Because... This is a child cartoon. You can only show someone getting fried so much. <laughs> so in my opinion, the reason he goes below Frankenstrike is Frankenstrike just got, like, a thing or two more on him. Keep in mind, Frankenstrike also has a bit of super intelligence on him as well. And Not a lot, but a decent, a decent amount. I guess. Yeah. Jury rig. Jury rig. He's just above gray matter. Because of his little a bit of like speed, he's, he's got a little bit of speed on him. He's like a worse upgrade. Um, uh, feedback. Feedback. I'm pretty oh, sure feedback goes fucking above ninety percent of these assholes. I think he goes. I think he goes above... like up to echo. I would echo put him that high. At, at least I think at least he deserves to be in finally what I want. I think he, like, goes above the lightning, the lightning jellyfish. I think he deserves to be there. Hmm. I guess so, yeah, because electricity doesn't really affect any of these other guys. Blocks goes in the fucking worst. <laughs> top, Come on. He goes top fair. of, he goes... Okay, bottom of all, man. <laughs> Dude. Okay, okay. Honestly, fine. He goes, he goes top at the of bottom. all, man. No, he goes at the bottom of I can work with this. Because as much as his design genuinely sucks bullshit, it's... He's basically just worse Diamond Head. And I he, mean really he's worse. He's got defense, but we've no, seen, wait, we've seen he's him... He's worse Diamond Head crossed with Wild Vine. He's got defense, but we've seen him literally be broken apart before. But then so his defense isn't together. even that great. Yeah, I think that's a decent place to put him. <laughs> Crash Hopper. Uh, fucking. Put him above behind spinner. Arctiguana. Arctiguana? You want him to be that high? No, because none of the flyers are really there. So I think that's perfectly fine. He can jump good. <laughs> stupid considering Ben has wings. Anyway. Better upchuck. That's it. I wouldn't even say better upchuck. He has an ability that upchuck doesn't have, but then why would he want it? 
All right, let's fucking go. That goes in the worst. <laughs> let's go all the way to hero time with Waka Trout. Nice Trout, try, motherfucker. <laughs> He either goes at the very bottom of all man, or he goes right. He goes right above the worst. Everyone should technically be above the yeah. worst. <laughs> pixie now, person. Let me look up that pixie thing. I want to know. There's no way it's whole thing is just I'm a pixie. It's me, Gil from the hit series Castlevania: Curse of Darkness, where I make such jokes as I'm in your ass. Oh, it's a dream-based alien. Does it have it puts you to sleep, and then it goes in your dreams. Mm. That's what it does. But blocks can defend against you. How does it put you to sleep? Sleep powder. It's got roofy dust. Okay. Ultimate Echo Echo can block it. Diamond Honestly, dude can block it. In my opinion, he goes under uh, the human battery. Like he goes fucking, under like the little wait. The battery fucker should be above gray matter. Um, right? Because it's like I guess. gray matter is against super. He tampers super with shit. He rebuilds shit. He upgrades shit. <laughs> and gray matter can kind of do all of like gray matter can do all that, but not as fast. But he's he's power cuss in just making a plan. Um, put pesky dust, which is the name of that thing. Um, it's a horrible in name. front of gray matter. No, put it behind gray matter because fighting while sleeping is such a specific thing. Liter if you see someone sprinkle powder on you, the first thing you're gonna do is cover your orifices. Let's yeah. be honest. <laughs> All right, um, mole stash. <laughs> mole stash. He deserves to be <laughs> above jury rig. He he deserves to be. He's got combat, so he's already above Mister Agronomon, uh, Salamandy boy. Jumping, <sighs> jumping sucks ass. <laughs> I feel like. He'd be above Crash Hopper. I wouldn't put him above Crash Hopper. His mustache is very fucking strong, though. <laughs> like, he can crush cars with his mustache. Oh my god, why would you put that in? Okay, yeah, I could put him above Crash Hopper. Um, so let's talk about Kickin' Hawk. I don't even know what he does, other than he's strong. I'm not 100% sure he does anything else. You want me to look it up? I mean, it's not really going to affect it, is it? <laughs> He's worse than Wrath. Yeah, sorry. He's got nothing that's really interesting. <laughs> This man breaks your sanity. So this thing is just Mimikyu. <laughs> this thing's ugly as fuck. Honestly, put it behind see, the monkey. See, the problem is, <laughs> it's very it, strong, but they could just close their eyes. <laughs> you, don't remember, he also, can, he also has the ability to generate acid. Yeah. That would put honestly, him above. I think put him like below Goop then. Uh, no, I'd honestly put him like I think below Cannonball. But Dorian, because remember, your we're mind is usability. broken if well, you even look at. <laughs> like here's the thing, I'm I'm thinking about usability. What are we trying to kill Scar people for life? I don't think so. This is the fucking FTK monster. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I see, yeah, I can see it. Put him like behind Cannonball. Chromastone. I'm just gonna move Chromastone down. <laughs> honestly, Chromastone 
sucks. Wildvine has to go down too. Badly. Um, Chroma Stone is like just above blocks. Wildvine. Uh, actually, I don't think plants are really affected by. But, but if it was, well, was if it, well, can he heal faster than stink flies acid? Yeah, yeah, but the acid has to finish burning or regeneration is like that. I think yeah, I think he's still better than Blitz Wolf though because he can't really do much. He'll just be wrapped up. Put a vine around his snoot and he's fucked. Yeah. I <laughs> hey, look, the, the pterodactyl. He's pterodactyl. He's horrible. He's terrible. He can fly. Honestly, That's he about goes, it. In my opinion, he only does one thing, and it's like, if that's the case, then I think he goes in all man. He's worse than Jet Ray. No, I no. Um. Here's the thing. It's like Jet Ray's <laughs> ability to fight in the air is what's also helping him. I genuinely think he goes. In, this thing goes in all man. Like he goes. I think he beats up Chuck. Yeah, I think he beats up Chuck. I'm no, gonna, I'm gonna put this context. guy above him. Yeah. By the way, I also looked at the context for that frog thing. I know why it's there now. What, Mr. Toad Boy? Yeah, apparently Ben was like in an enraged marriage kind of thing, so he had to take a form of that frog thing. That was why it's there, but it also can jump and it's got a tongue. Uh, yes, that is exactly what happened. <laughs> Very stylish Honest alien. <laughs> Honestly, where's Crash Hopper? You put him just, uh, put him just above Crash Hopper. Because he's got style. Not only that, he's got the tongue, so that's more than just jumpy. This man has all the chemicals ever, immunity. Yeah, and he's also <laughs> just immune to any kind of, like, energy attack. So that, that puts him... Okay, who's got... Okay. I think He's invulnerable to Goop. energy, but... Here's yeah. the thing. Put him behind Goop, because his design is that bad. Yeah, he's... Who are you calling, Pinhead? Looking ass. We're down to our final three. This guy is oh, just literally a worse version of him. No, not that. Except he's, he's really not even strong. To gas. It's just gas. So honestly, that's that's super bad. <laughs> um, he's got strength. He's got a decent chunk of strength. It's not much. A, put him like yeah. I think putting him chicken. right right above Spider Monkey is a good idea. Wham vampire, he sucks ass. Just Literally another dude who can fly. That's it. Where's the other guy who could only fly and that's it? There he is. Honestly, think about moving pesky dust down a lot. Because it's like, dream is a specific situation. I don't think they get anything fun from being in the dream. So honestly, put pesky dust like... <laughs> yeah. Better than walking. Yeah. He's better than walking yeah. trout. <laughs> This guy now controls we have this gravity fucking bastard. gravity. That could basically wreck anybody who doesn't fly. <laughs> and even if they do fly, I think it still fucks them. Oh. Uh... Damn, he's kind of. This ultimate kinda, is not in this list. Kind of makes me mad. Yeah. But we're gonna pretend. Um, I'd say put him. Yeah, actually, right there. Right there. Yeah, his ultimate form is not in. But it's literally just slightly stronger. And he has more heads. But anyway, yeah. Uh, this is our, Do we want to arrange anything while we're here? I'm looking at it. Um. <laughs> this really just sucks that bad. Well, we... <sighs> It just makes a ball, man. Um, 
I think the worst is fine. All oh, man. All oh, man is probably fine. Actually, I think ditto. I think ditto should be lower. Lower? Yeah. But he I can overwhelm he's... people. I know, but like overwhelming only works so many times. Like, let's like take Chudo. Oh no. Munch, okay. munch, Well, munch, let's munch, see munch, what he's munch. going against. A guy who eats shit. A guy who makes a ball. Another version of Upchuck. And a guy who will die instantly. <laughs> like, his thing, he doesn't eat people. <laughs> he just eats objects. I don't, I don't think we're giving enough credit to Ditto. It's just, to me, it's like, when you can split yourself up into more versions of yourself, but it doesn't have any other thing that makes it a lot dangerous. To me, it's just... I, so you're basically saying I'm fighting a bunch of just normal dudes. Probably, but again, strength in numbers, man. That's how we win wars. Yeah, fair. I just, feel like I you know. can just I, doggy pile everyone that can't fly. Upchuck's got acid, so I'll, I'll at least give Upchuck a chance. Actually, no, he was probably in the right spot, because he's got high-pressurized water, so he'd just blow him away. I'm thinking putting about putting the Tornado Turtle a little lower. Terra Spin. But he has to be above Mummy, though. Because I'm thinking, it's like, I'm thinking, what? Is Terra Spin's Terra Spin's purpose? Like, why would you ever use it? Oh shit! It's really hot outside. <laughs> <laughs> you see my point? So that's why, like, I'm thinking maybe put Terra Spin a little, like, a decent chunk lower, because it's like you'd never really use them. Because if you need a flyer, you have a bunch of other options. He makes tornadoes. Hmm. I feel like the, these strong guys could probably find a way to like indent themselves in the ground or something. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking blocks. Is he really I can work with this level? <laughs> I think he is. Despite how ugly looking he is and despite how much he's, uh, his abilities suck, he's got a decent chunk of re re jet regeneration and the amount of shit he can kind of just turn into for convenience is pretty good. He would be good if he just wasn't made of blocks. If he had any other design choice, he would be fine. It's just the design that's keeping him this low. Couldn't make a liquid metal alien. No, I had to make him with blocks. <laughs> I feel like Heat Blast is a little too high. Yeah. He's yeah. Probably. I think he's like. Probably, I don't think rare. electricity. I think behind... Electricity I... wouldn't really work on him, I don't think. I know, but I think he's behind feedback. See, because it's just like. While Heat Blast is very iconic, feedback is just kind of. I'm not going to say he replaced him, because he didn't, but he did, in, recogniz recog uh, in being a uh, poster boy, he did a pretty decent job for, Omni for Omniverse. Like, if you ask people what's the most alien they remember from that, they're going to usually say feedback. I think way big may be too high because both of these two can fly and that's like his main weakness i the reason i think that everyone's fine is because remember i'm also counting for design and 
if you look at Ultimate Swamp Fire, what do you think he does just by looking at him? Because I wouldn't think he sets things on fire. Come on, our, our tank's gonna, like, shoot you a wildo in the face. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's weird. The design's very kind of odd. Despite that, I love but it, it's, it's still kind of cool. odd. <sighs> Overall, I think this list is fine. I like, think we did a good job. Come on. Okay, do you, how badly do you want to knock? Oh, yeah, I think that's fair. Because he's <laughs> pretty bad. He's not iconic. He's not strong. He's not cool. He's one of two speedsters in this universe, and no one remembers him. Rightfully so. Ghost Freak. He's just fucking nudging at that. Do you want to put him in a tier of time? Because I'm down for that. Honestly, Time Stop should be above Huebig. Even though he's fucking huge. He's not gonna be able to do anything if he can't fucking move. How strong... Is Alien X omnipotent? Like, can yes. he just know you to fucking time? Yes. He has put the entire universe back, I think. After, like, a very... After the universe blew up. He, he was able to put it back. No, wait, he didn't put it back. What he did was he just created another universe and just made sure the time and events went exactly how it needed to go. I think that's... So he fast-forwarded time to a grand scale. Or was that just Eon? <laughs> so the, the one thing is, like, is the buff... Is the debuff so bad that he's not allowed to enter hero time because it can either be really easy or really fucking impossible no all the time it's really fucking hard all the time because <laughs> these two consciousnesses are like bitchy ex lovers <laughs> so i think this is good like if you want to if you think we made some mistakes and think we should uh, change it up a bit. Uh, let us know in the comments if you ever yeah. see this video. You if probably you, won't. If you think we're that, uh, if you think we're fucking dumb, and you want to defend, you want to defend why, <laughs> you want to defend why Rip Jaws is the best alien of the first series. Comment below. I won't read it, and I'll probably ban you. I'll probably read it. I won't say anything though. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for staying here for this almost two-hour-long video. God. Yeah, I'm really proud of this list, honestly. You wouldn't think there was that much to say. Keep in mind, we're still missing, I think, like, a couple aliens. Yeah, we're still missing Ultimate Gravity Boy. Um, Are there any Ultimates we're missing? No, I think, is it just Gravity Boy that's missing? Possibly. I don't, guys, there's so fucking many aliens. I mean, and we, obviously, there's, there's no, there, there's, there's, there's no, something there's no reboot stuff in here, because fuck it. I didn't want to deal with that. Um... And with that said, look at the time. We should yeah. be getting to bed. It's almost 11 o'clock at night now. <laughs> so you know what, ladies, gentlemen, that one kid that shouldn't be watching us, but you do it because you know your parents don't want you to? That one guy who's, who only has heard the name Ben 10 and got really confused? We see you next time. And remember... The trout is still better than the worst. <laughs> and he always will be. <sighs> he knows how to talk the talk. Bye, Taylor. <laughs> but more important, he knows how to walk the walk. Uh.